Alright guys. <coughs> well, it has turned into a spectacularly gorgeous and just a little bit smoky, lovely summer evening here in the end times at Bugs in a Jar Farm in the lovely Finger Lakes of New York. And we are closing down July. It is, uh, it is, what is it? It is a Wednesday night. It is July 31st, 2024. So I just ate my first tomato of the year. I took a video of me doing that and promptly erased the video. So anyway, uh, so it is a gorgeous Wednesday night, and I have nobody here tonight. I, I have no business to attend to. It is a gorgeous summer night in the Finger Lakes, and about 12 minutes from here at this uh, cider mill, South Hill Cider Mill, there is this little bluegrass combo uh, playing for free. Well, I, I mean, the cider's not free, it, it's kind of overpriced, but you know, they got the, the they, they got the ciders, and they, and they got the food trucks, and they got the little bluegrass outfit playing on the lawn, and it's this beautiful, a uh, rolling lawn that looks out over uh, looks out over Ithaca and down to the lake and all that. Just a, a beautiful place out in the country. <clears throat> I'm guessing there's probably about 300 people there enjoying this beautiful summer night in the Finger Lakes in New York. Uh, you know, it, it's why we live in the Finger Lakes in New York. And, uh, I am sitting here alone, well, with my little dog, sitting here alone, uh, drinking a margarita by myself, looking out over my beautiful, my own beautiful rolling lawn. This is pretty much where I've been sitting every night for the past 90 nights. I am one half of the way. I cannot believe that one half of uh, one half of this summer is wrapping up today. And so I'm looking back over the first half of this summer. Let's see, how many music events have I gone to? If your, uh, if your answer was Hambone has heard zero live music since he got to Ithaca, New York three months ago, uh, give yourself a gold star. Uh, how many nights have I been to dinner with friends? I have been to, I have met friends for dinner one time in the, uh, in the past 90 days. I have had one dinner with friends and how many times have friends come here and spent a night in one of these tiny houses? If your answer is one time you would be correct, the same friends that I met for dinner. So that couple, and I guess they're now a couple. So I have met that couple for dinner one time in 90 days, and they have spent one night here. I, I have people, you know, coming from all over the planet to uh, stay here. Uh, for $100 a night uh, to stay here 
And, and, and I have an open invitation to anyone listening to this to come uh, enjoy one of these beautiful uh, $100 per night tiny houses for free. Uh, as I say, we've got the Garden Fresh Vine Ripe Tomatoes coming in. Uh, we, we have uh, fresh homemade organic cobbler coming out of the blackberry patch every night. Uh, as I say, people coming from all over this planet uh, to come spend the night here. And I, I cannot get, uh, well, as I say, with, with one exception, well, I guess my sister came over from Vermont. So my sister did come over uh for two nights last week so we can't forget dear old sis <clears throat> and that is it and the here, here is how i was um reminded of this wednesday night uh concert series at the uh, South Hill Cidery, which I went to quite two years ago, uh, a neighbor of mine who who was who has since moved out. Uh, he was in to the same you know acoustic folk and bluegrass music. So I actually went to this uh, event probably five times two years ago never went last year, so I was, <clears throat> the reason I was reminded of this series is because, you know, I dropped my computer off at Best Buy today, and then uh, went to have a late lunch at the Ithaca Bakery. Got there, uh, you know, or ordered my sandwich, a uh, pretty good Cuban sandwich, and, and I noticed that the table two two uh, tables down from me was this uh, chick that I met on a pile of fish. Uh, it was was it three or four years ago that she and I uh, actually had three dates. We had three dates. She's an attract. She's a year younger. So she's 63 years old. This attractive, intelligent, educated, 63-year-old uh, uh, lives in this beautiful home uh, right down the street from the South Hill Cidery. She's, you know, so she's like 12, 15 minutes from me. So she's sitting there in the Ithaca Bakery by herself on her little tablet and you know she still has her ad on pile of fish it's still sitting there on pile of fish don't think she recognized me or if she did recognize me she did a very good job of poker facing so there I am sitting two tables down from this uh, attractive available uh, woman, she, she's the one I've mentioned that on our third date, uh, she just said, dude, you've got to can the Doomer shit, is what she told me. You've got to can the Doomer shit. She is not a complete, uh, clueless moron. This woman is not completely a clueless moron. Uh, but she, she just doesn't want to hear it. I'm guessing she's probably an apocaloptimist. I'm mean, just wild guessing that she's at the apocaloptimist stage. But she just doesn't want to hear it. Uh, so we parted company on our third date with her uh, advice to me. If you want to meet a woman in this town, can the Doomer shit. So here we are, sitting two tables apart, and I went and got this little, you know, the little weekly news and entertainment rag, 
and uh, and, and and looked at the uh, you know at the music calendar coming up, and like like in the next, it's like every night. The, the next uh, few nights, there, there is completely free good music in Ithaca. Completely free. No cover charge whatsoever. That, that, uh, every night, once I get my, you know, my people settled in for the night, I could be going and, and, and listening uh, you know, to good free music. And then on Saturday, I guess the infamous String Dusters are putting on a free concert in the park, and so I'm 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 looking at, at all of this free music, and who was it? Was it you, Veg? I I, I think Vegematic. I think it was Veg. Somebody on YouTube just recently was talking about how nobody goes to live music events anymore. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? That, that, that nobody goes to live music events anymore. Uh, I, I, I guess you said that because you don't go to live music events anymore. My, my guess is every one of these uh, live music events right here in Ithaca, New York this week uh, are, 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 are going to be packed with people. Uh, you know, out there, pe people who enjoy the same kind of music I do, uh, and, and and I'm looking at these all of the, this free music, uh, and 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 looking over at this at, at, at this single available woman who's been on pile of fish, who's had her fucking ad up. Uh, for at least four years, who uh, would probably very much enjoy uh, going to this to this live music event. You know, she and I. I mean, we we didn't have. I mean, her only problem with me was the doomer shit. And, and, and I'm looking at it, and 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 just the, you know, it's just. You, you, you just have these, can epiphanies repeat themselves? I, I, I think they can. I, I think you can have recurring epiphanies. And, 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 I'm, and I'm looking at all of this free music, and I'm looking over there at this attractive, available 63-year-old uh, woman, two tables down uh, on her little tablet, sitting there alone in her little social media world or whatever, and, and, and just this absolute wave of existential despair that just, just, just rolled over me. Just, just the, you know, the, the absolute, complete hopelessness of, of, of the entire fucking situation. Uh, that, uh, you, you know, just, so I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to picture myself going to one of these music events. And, and, and I had this conversation recently with, uh, someone who shall remain nameless. Uh, th th this very thing, uh, just... You know, I'm I'm trying to put myself to see myself showing up alone uh, at, at at one of these events. You know, probably have my little chair with me or whatever, uh, and and going there and going up and 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 ordering a drink uh, and and maybe going up to the food truck. And, and, and getting a plate of fucking noodles or, or whatever the fuck. You, you know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> and uh, sitting down there alone and, and, and just looking at, at the people around me. And, and, and of course, it's, and it's two things. It, it, it's, you know, looking at the couples, of course, looking at the 
the male female pair bonds uh, there. And, and, you know, even more than that, I think, uh, e even more than, than the existential despair uh, uh, of sitting alone at one of these uh, music festivals out on a beautiful summer night in the Finger Lakes is just looking at groups of friends. <clears throat> you know, just groups of friends in real life uh, just meeting up with a friend and, and, and going out and, and, and hear some fucking music. Uh, you know, grab a damn cider, uh, get a pizza, go hang out uh, on the lawn listening to some uh, good free acoustic music, getting out there and enjoying it while you still can. And, 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 and just the very thought uh, uh, of sitting there alone and, 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 you know, and having one of these pair bond couples on one side of me and, and this group of fucking just, you know, people, friends just hanging out uh, on a blanket or whatever, uh, talking and laughing and enjoying music together. And, 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 and shit, uh, it, it would, j just the very thought of uh, the, j just the, the, the existential despair that would uh, send me into. Uh, so instead, here I am, sitting here alone with my thumb up my ass uh, on this beautiful summer night uh, just thinking of, uh, uh, about just this how utterly bleak uh, my future is and I, I, I mean I, I, I've worn out this rant uh, this summer, uh, but but it, it it really is fucking weird that, that that how in the summer of 2020, the summer of 2020, in Ithaca, New York, for God's sake, uh, I I had a lot more. Uh, I, I was going out on dates. Well, like it's been four years since I've been out because it's the summer 2020 when I was out with that woman. Uh, it's been four years. I, I, I had dates with, I think, three or four women on Pile of Fish, uh, meeting, uh, well, of course, Alistair uh, was living here. Uh, Alistair, you know, the, the proud new father, Alistair, was living here. And, uh, the, I, 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 anyway, uh, and, and then the summer of 21, uh, there, there's, you know, I, I, I had a lot more social intercourse uh, just with, you know, my fellow humans, and, and, and they were doomers. And uh, at how this summer, uh, as I say, one visit, one visit. I, I've been here. I've been here for ninety days. One, well, I, I mean two. You know, a, a pair uh, of doomers uh, ha, ha, have spent one night here. Uh, you know this uh, the, 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 this fucking epidemic of loneliness. It's no fucking joke. It really isn't. I mean, it sucks. It just there there there. 
I, I, I mean, I, I used to, I had already given up all, all hope, uh, clearly, of ever finding my Doomer chick forever. Uh, you know, when I finally uh, enlisted the, the mushroom god to put the kibosh on, on Dulcinea, and uh, once, you know, once that little uh, ain't gonna happen fantasy was once and forever driven from my fucking brain uh, by the mushroom god with a two by four, uh, that, 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 that ham bone, you're never gonna find your fucking doomer chick forever. Uh, you're, you're gonna be alone for the rest of your fucking life uh, and, and, and until the day you die. But, uh... I, it, I I didn't think that extended, you know, just to regular friends. I mean, this, uh, you know, the, my, my next door neighbor, the woman next door, uh, is a, I, I, I mean, obviously she's not a doomer. She is the, the, the queen of the normies. You know, her husband was sort of a buddy of mine, uh, he would come over here quite a bit. He was a real character, and he dropped dead uh, on his bathroom floor <clears throat> uh, two years ago. Uh, my my buddy dropped dead just uh, and so so this woman she and I are the same age, and uh, you, you know she. She brings me a plate of cookies last week. You know, my that tr that goddamn tree fell in her yard, and so she came and told me that that dead fucking tree was in her yard. So Grant and I went over there and uh, sliced it up the very next day and got it off of her lawn. And she and she was so impressed. You know how we how quickly we got the tree off of her lawn. That So she she makes me this batch of homemade cookies and she brings it over to me. I was sitting right, I was actually in the middle of a rant. You guys might remember. I was in the middle of a rant. Thank God I was looking in the right direction. To see her coming around the side of the house so I immediately stop my rant and so she comes here and uh, gives me the cookies right in this very chair that I'm sitting so uh, and I and I'm following her out and so I've known this woman I met her in 2019 she's my next door neighbor and We're just walking around the side of my house back to her car and she just stops and she turns around and looks at me and just throws her arms around me and gives me this big hug. I mean, it did, did just uh, out of nowhere. It was just so spontaneous that this woman, uh, you know, who, who's who lives right next door to me. Uh, now, don't get any ideas. There is absolutely no romance on any level here. There, there was absolutely nothing on any level. Uh, sexual about the hug. It was just uh, it, 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 it was just two humans two humans in a, in a fucking spontaneous moment uh, that, that she just she just needed to feel a, a, another fucking the touch of another human being. Uh, she's sitting over there. I mean, their her entire life, what was was wrapped up in, in in her damn husband. They had been married for, good God, I don't know, thirty or forty fucking years. He he drops dead, uh, and, and probably going to take a shit. 
uh, and and there there she is, sitting out here in the middle of fucking nowhere with her thumb up her fucking ass. She's probably sitting there next door, uh, watching goddamn Netflix. <clears throat> There was this really fucking creepy article on uh, the mainstream media uh, yesterday. I mean, it was even too creepy for 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 me. Uh, and, and 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 what this was was about this average normal forty eight year old woman. She was in England, just your regular forty eight year old woman. Uh, who ended up in prison or in jail, I guess, for six months. She was a, this average, completely heterosexual woman, did not have a lesbian bone in her body, and she, I, I can't believe she went public. I mean, her, her photograph and everything. A and it, it was the, 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 the story... I, I, I mean, I, I was going to do one of my, you know, smart-ass rants uh, 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 about how there's a latent lesbian in, in, in every woman out there. And after I, I got deeper into the story, it just started creeping me out. So anyway, she gets some bullshit, absolute bullshit, this, this, <clears throat> just this normal... <coughs> You know, run-of-the-mill, upper-middle-class white woman in England. She's 48 years old, uh, makes some stupid uh, little mistake that any one of us could make. She must have had an awful lawyer, gets thrown in fucking jail for six fucking months. And... She she goes after four months of just you, you know sitting there for four fucking months, you know she she said she had absolute she did not touch another human being in four months had never felt the touch of a of another human being, so to to take a wild guess. She ended up just just out of nowhere, uh, just having this wild, fucking lot like ten minute, uh, fling with with this bull dyke. Uh, so somehow they uh, that they had ten minutes of privacy uh, together, where where they got to be out of the cameras for 10 minutes and and, and she was insisting uh, that that it, that it she was not a lesbian and and, and that it wasn't exactly I mean it was sexual obviously uh, that they, they had 10 minutes and uh, and she went for it just to feel the touch uh, uh, of another human being. Uh, good fucking God. I, I, I have no idea. Let's see. Well, I gave my sister a hug. Let's see. So it is now Wednesday. My sister, when did she leave? Is it Wednesday already? Is it? I don't know what the fucking day. It might just be Tuesday. I don't know. I lose that. I. Yeah, my sister left Thursday morning. So six days ago, I gave my sister a hug. I have. Uh, that was the last time I had physical contact with another human being. I have a friend from Austin coming up in 25 days. So my guess 
is the next time I will have literal skin-to-skin -skin contact with another human being will be in 25 days. Unless my next-door neighbor comes over and brings me a, another plate of cookies. But anyway, guys. I mean, this shit, it, 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 it's no fucking joke. Uh, the, the loneliness epidemic. And, uh, and, and I hear that, that, that they claim that these Gen Z, that these 20 somethings are the loneliest, uh, people on the planet are the 20 somethings. That, uh, that they just, that, 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 that humans blame it on social media, whatever. Uh, I, 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 I really, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I, if someone had told me five years ago, uh, that, that I was going to be sitting here alone uh, talking to my imaginary friends uh, on YouTube, uh, on social media, when uh, 12 minutes from here, uh, on a beautiful summer night in the fucking Finger Lakes, uh, there were probably 300 people enjoying a free bluegrass concert, and I wasn't going to be there uh, because the I, I was the, the thought... You know, I I I would have said you're fucking crazy. I I just assumed by now uh, that I would have, a, you know, a just a a gang, a, 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 not necessarily doomers, preferably doomers, but uh, j just you know, I I just assumed uh, I I was gonna have a woman by now. Uh, I assumed uh, I, I was just going to have a gang of friends. If you had told me in 2020 uh, when I was dating women, uh, when I had plenty of friends around here, that, that I was going to be in this situation, uh, and, and I, I would have said, you're fucking crazy. I mean, I, I honestly don't know how this happened. But anyway, since I realize I am talking to myself, I guess I will wrap this up, uh, pour myself another drink, and see what is on Netflix while I still can. Come see me at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Yeah, right. Bye, guys.